Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Yokai Watch, and in this episode, we're going after another legendary yokai. So, for pretty much this entire game, the legendary yokai have been carrying us. I mean, there are extremely strong yokai like QB who aren't necessarily legendary. And also, I got this really cool equipment out of Terror Time for QB. Look at that 50 speed for 50 strength. I will take that, that is the best trade ever, but that's not what I came here to talk about. Shogun Yun is probably the best physical attacker in the game, without a doubt, now that he has the Vampiric Fangs. Yeah, he's pretty unstoppable. But what if we wanted a spirit version of Shogun Yun's power? Hmm, that is what we will be doing in this episode. So if you check out your medallion, you may have noticed that there's some of these sealed pages. Here's Shogun Yun's and in this episode, we're going for the next one. However, we are missing two yokai, so I need to recruit those. But maybe you're not so lucky and you haven't recruited the Casanova, the Quake, and the Komajir, the Koman, and the Blazion to open up this page. Don't worry, I got you guys. I'll be showing the locations of all of these yokai, and it's kind of cool. All of these yokai are basically based around fire. Basically based around. <laughs> Pretty much based around either fire or, you know, power in the sense of, yeah, well, all of them except Casanova. I don't really get that one, but Quaken, Komajiro, Komain, Blazion, QB, they all sort of have fire. Then again, Komajiro is electricity. All right, I don't really get the theming, but hey, we're going after these yokai. And the ones that I need to obtain are actually inside of the museum, and I really hope it is nighttime. It should be. I wish you could tell in the overworld, but I guess not. Um... To be on the safe side, though, let's go to the tunnels then in Mount Wildwood and try and get the first yokai that we need, which is a Mad Mountain. We need to grab him to unlock another page of the medallion. And is it night time? Eh, we'll figure it out eventually. It's not the end of the world. Now, to get to this first yokai, it's really easy. And I like the fact that they made all of these guys sort of based around, you know the dungeons that you encounter them in. I I don't know if that's exactly what they were going for, but so far it seems every single yokai, yeah, they all can be gotten inside of dungeons, well, excluding QB, but then again, to get QB, you need to get a billion items anyways, and it feels like it's the millionth time I've come in here. And honestly, it will not be the last, but yeah, same time as before, all we need to do is activate this lever, and I want to make note of these two yokai that we're going to be hunting, and their fa <laughs> sounds so messed up when I say it like that, but their favorite food is sushi, and since there's not really sushi in this game, they want you to give them rice balls. It kind of is a translation error, I guess, in some of the, you know, guides, but yeah, that's what they want, and did I go the right way? Yes, I did. Awesome. Let's get inside this minecart and head over to this other area, and dude, what is up with that chest? I want that! I don't know what it is, but I We will get to that eventually, but... Yeah, you may remember when we were uh, taking on Dromp, who I keep calling Gromp because I play another video game where there's a character that has a very similar name, and... Hey, Babylon, would you happen to have a Mad Mountain for me to battle? If so, that'd be super duper awesome. So, this Mad Mountain is going to join us, whether he wants to or not. And also, QB, dude, his... We have enhanced his power off screen. Now that he has this fiend badge, dude, oh my gosh, he is a complete monster. Blizzaria still does a little bit more damage because she has her ability and the ice ring, but the fact that, hey, we can never miss with this guy is super cool. And wow, we actually didn't finish them off in one hit. Crazy, but oh my god, 208, dude. Yeah, QB's a... Uh... He's pretty strong, I recommend him. Then again, he's not as strong as what we're gonna get next, and come on! Join me, yeah! Awesome. First try, and he approaches us. Let me team up with you so we can spar every day. Come at me! Uh, sure, man. Sounds fine to me. Mad Mountain! We'll join our team. The tough yokai is going to be very handy. N not in battle, but as I said before, we need him to open up a page of the medallion. And we're only at one away. Ooh. I'm so excited. But yes, now that we got that one, I now need to go to the museum at night because that is where the next yokai that we need is. So be right back once I've done that. And all right, now that we are at the Gourd Pond Museum again, it's actually been a while since we've come here, we should be able to encounter some Mad Mountains there. No, no, this is not Mad Mountain. This is his other form, Lava Lord. And okay, we got two, so that is double the chance to get this guy, which I'm totally cool with. 
So, yeah, we need to get this yokai next. It'd be a really good- Boom, baby! I like that. I wonder if that's a uh, reference to anything other than, well, obviously volcanoes. But yeah, we- No, no, guys! No, no, go for that lava lord. That is what I want you to do. Hopefully I can get my item up before. Um, yeah, okay, we did. We take down this yokai because we want a chance to get both of these guys. And if there are two yokai, you might as well just try and stall the battle out with either using healing yokai or just wasting your turns. Maybe you have a yokai that you know, loves around a lot because you want the highest chance to get them. So you obviously want to give the best quality food to both. And oh man, we almost got that level up. No, we actually didn't. And there he is! Lava Lord approaches and you're too strong. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> okay, uh, sure thing, man. Lava Lord! I, I I really don't know why I paused there so you could hear his name because I think pretty much everybody knew how to say this guy's name, but now that he has been added to our medallion, we can now get access to another legendary yokai, and oh man, this one is going to be pretty intense, I gotta say. But in case you are not as lucky as I am to get all the eight yokai we need to unlock this legendary, I will be showing you where to get them all. So let's go. So first up is in the old mansion. All you have to do is unlock this rank D watch lock door to get access to this other side. And sometimes you will encounter Nikomajiro. You can be with Tattletail or a Helmsman. Next up, if you were not lucky enough to evolve your Komasan to level 35 into a Komain, he can be gotten right here. Just be careful though, you can't recruit the white kinds. And after that, we're moving on to the Brave Yokai over in the construction building on the top floor. Blazion are pretty easy to encounter. And once you have Blazion, it's time for his, well, color swap Quaken. You can find him just running around at school at night. Now for the mysterious Yokai, Casanova. Once you have your rank A Yokai watch, you can enter the Nocturne Hospital, and they're relatively easy to find on the first floor. And lastly, the most difficult yokai to obtain to get this next legendary. You have to get QB. There's no way around it, which means, yes, you have to complete all three of the quests and get a golden tofu to battle QB to get him on your team. Yes, it's tedious, but as I've said in previous videos, there are easier ways to do it. And now that that's all been taken care of, it is finally time to obtain our next legendary yokai. And oh man, I am excited for this. Not only is this yokai going to be incredibly powerful, I just love that jingle, man. It's probably one of the best, but all right, here we go. Our next legendary. Let's get him. Summoning legendary! I'm Komashura! We're friends now! Yes, we are! Komashura! Uh, I love this guy so much! Why is he so cool? I don't know. So this is the strongest, mysterious yokai in the game. Once you acquire these eight yokai, he is yours. However, just like Shogun Yun, he is going to start at level one. But I don't know, man. I think it's worth it. Because this guy is a complete monster. You probably can't see it right now, but oh my gosh. Give us some time, guys, and Komashura is going to be a m just beast with his spirit stat. Debatably one of the highest in the game, even rivaling the Tengu and Kyuubi. So, really quickly, and I'm going to say really quickly, even though this is going to take me almost all day to get a yokai up to level 70, we are going to level this guy up and increase his spirit stat rank. So, meet you guys back once I've done some leveling up. And all right guys, I'm back from our leveling session that almost took me all day. But now we have a Koma Shura that is level 64. And I honestly could not level him up any further than that because I couldn't take it anymore. But seriously, look at this guy. We maxed out his technique too. It cost a lot of books, but now that has been complete. Yeah, this guy is going to do some serious damage. Now pay close attention. His speed stat, even with this Meteor Badge, is still the same as QB's, and Komashura is lower level. That should tell you how powerful and quick 
Komashura is. He's pretty much, like I said, the spirit version of Shogunyun, and I am so excited to show him off. So let's do that in this episode. But now that we've gone further down into... Oh, man, he doesn't have it anymore. Bummer. Uh, eventually, Papa Bolt over here will give you a request to defeat some Zerberker. And we're going to do that probably in the next episode. I was counting on him to have it now. But yes, let's return back to the lower circle of the Infinite Inferno. And all right, guys, here we are back in the fifth circle. And ooh, hello there. This is a yokai that I for some reason did not see in the previous episode, Insomnia. And I want to test something out. Is she, I believe her favorite food are sweet treats or cheap treats, not sweet. I mean, pretty much any treat is sweet, right? <laughs> so now let's see Komashiro's incinerate action. Holy crud. And his ultimate. Yeah, this guy does a lot of damage. But yeah, this is a rare yokai I did not show off in the previous episode. And I thought I'd get it on camera right now. And, oh, come on. Don't put all my stats down, but... She is of the Eerie tribe, and sure a shower! Urgh! Yeah, it's kind of just a generic fire attack, but dang, if you level up his technique, dude, or his uh, ultimate rank, it does some pretty decent damage. But yeah, we need one of those to get another legendary yokai. And look at his endings thing, dude. He's just, ooh, his eyebrows are like going all over the place. Well, they're not really eyebrows, but you get what I'm saying. We can also encounter a. No, oh, darn, we didn't get it. A uh, rarer version of her called Sandy, which I would love to show off, but. Chances are pretty slim we'll find her in this episode. But then again, I was not expecting to get that Mama Aura in the previous episode, and we totally did. So who knows what's going to happen. But yes, we are down here in the sixth circle now, and I'm sure there's going to be incredibly difficult yokai to battle. I do not want to take on that Grumples, because we already got, you know, ever four. We don't need her, right? Where's the point in that? Let's see. So far, the sixth circle's not looking too exciting and I would really like it if I could run away from those guys. Oh my, what? Well, isn't that annoying? And speaking of annoying, hopefully, please don't be terrified. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay. I was kind of worried that was going to happen. And this is a really empty room. Were they not expecting me to get this chest? And wow, that book is pretty useless to me right now. I gotta say, but I, I, like, I like the incentive. You know, maybe there's, oh, I almost missed this one. I, maybe there's someone out there who doesn't have Karuncha yet, and that could be helpful to you. And ooh, a yellow coin. I am still hunting for QB's alternate color, which is called Frost Tail, which can only be gathered by using yellow coins. I've used like 20 yellow coins and still have not gotten him. I got really lucky on Karuncha. It only took me like, I don't know, 16? It wasn't that bad, but still Frost Tail eludes me. And seriously, all we're seeing are Blandin, dude. That's kind of bland, and there's Hide a Bat who also spawns bland, and UGH! The Sixth Circle is so lame, dude! Oh, great, Terra Time. Uh, I guess that's what I get for saying that, and the Oni is right there. I'm just going to use some, uh, Stamanium. Hope you don't mind that. I'm getting the heck out of here. It is possible for us to defeat the Oni at the state in which our Yokai are at, but... It's still really, really risky, and I don't even know if I can get out of here without him seeing me. Oh, no, he's going the other way. I can totally run for it. Problem is, I don't know the hills area that well, so this could be a little bit on the tricky side. And, oh, God, here come more Leodoni. Let's... I don't know where this guy's looking. Oh, he's looking right there. Crap, we gotta go. Come on, come on. I mean, yeah, we could fight him with Shogun Yun, but I'd prefer if we had Ever 4, etc. But we won't have to worry about that because we made it out. Okay, good. I was kind of worried about that, but yes, as I was saying before, though, we could beat the Oni in our current state, but I still would like to prepare a little bit more, and I believe we are almost ready to fight the next boss. Yes, we are. So, for whatever reason, we fight the Doctor before refighting the Samurai. I don't really get it, and wow, this yokai looks exactly like the armor at the museum. It's really a shame Eddie would never believe in yokai. That's where the whole seeing and believing kind of messes up everything. <laughs> Could something be controlling the suit of armor too? Most likely! Yeah, and I really need to heal. It'd probably be a good idea if I did that, but I'm not gonna heal now. Actually, come to think of it, I should, but I won't because we are going to give Komashura a spirit talisman, and I'm just honestly curious how much damage he's going to be able to do, and... Oh, you're inspiriting yourself to give you more spirit. I don't know if those stack necessarily, but I'm interested to find out. So now that he has all of his buffs, let's start dishing out the ramen. <laughs> Alright. QB... Oh my god, 245! That is insane, and... Oh, man. 
Yeah, the Samurai's doing a number to my team, so let's just continue to heal everybody up. But yeah, the 6-4 was really lame. Outside of, I guess, Insomnia having a potential to spawn, I guess there isn't too much to it. And oh man, Tengu actually does not do a ton here. That is unfortunate. We may swap him out and ooh, I want that. Give me the orb, or the wisp. I keep calling it an orb, and alright, that'll give us bonus EXP, but seriously, 257 damage. Not everyone can do that, man, and alright. Come on. Okay, t QB is tanking a little bit. I'll take it, and I like how the pin goes directly through the sword. That looks kind of funny, but yeah, our team... It may not look like it right now, but we are getting pretty stinking strong. For something we have to do later in this dungeon, we want to have really strong physical attackers and really strong spirit users. That is because, well, I guess I won't spoil it now, but you need to diversify your team a little bit. And come on, don't it spe- Ah, uh, whatever. Fine. Get, uh, Blizzari in there a little bit. Alright! The sword has been broken. Again, and that one painting looks suspiciously like something I've seen in a museum. I wonder if they just... <laughs> not not to say they ripped it off, but they took a heavy inspiration from it, I guess. I guess they couldn't. I really need to get some more Nom Burgers, man. Hope you like cheese, QB. I mean, maybe he does, consider you know, he's also yellow like cheese. The only problem I have is that currently, the attitude that I gave Komashura, it basically is the best for him because it will increase his speed while also increasing his spirit, but... Due to that fact, he will also not really prioritize using spirit attacks, which is, well, the brainy attitude. Which I guess once I'm done and I think he has enough speed, I could just level him up a little bit more. But, oh my gosh, the spirit is insane! Holy crap! And if I get another Fiend Badge for um, Komashura, he's just going to do insane damage. Like, there's... N you, you, we won't be able to stop him, but seriously. This little mouse is going to get destroyed really, really quickly. And as soon as I get accessibility to my food again, we're going to give another Spirit Talisman to one of our yoke. Actually, would it be smarter to do speed? I'm going to try speed out. Maybe that would be smarter. I assume there are diminishing returns in this game. And if you don't know what that means, basically, if you keep using the same buff over and over again, it doesn't have the same effect. Like, if I keep using speed and, like, you know, the unity bonus of speed, I gave him a Speed Talisman and, you know, another yoke, I gave him an experiment boost that was speed probably wouldn't be doing that well and holy crud could we one turn this guy i think we nope we can't <laughs> don't bummer oh well let's just um you know let's take our time and oh my god 200 damage from qb are you kidding me that's nuts all right yeah it's pretty safe to us oh my god that healed for nothing it's pretty safe to assume that yeah our yokai are pretty strong and we actually want to stop that soul oh we did not get it so he's going for rejuvenation was that the right name to call that move? It didn't really seem to make any sense. He didn't rejuvenate himself at all. Unless there's a pun I'm somehow missing. Then again, that is possible. <laughs> He's guarding. Guarding, you say. <sighs> I laugh at you. Komashura, get in there, boy. Finish him off. I need to heal him up a little bit, though. As I was saying before, I don't think I said this before. I said this in like, the middle of a battle, and then we got cut off, but... The only downside to spirit users is the fact that they don't have an easy way to heal themselves like the vampiric fang physical attackers that we have, which could be a bummer, and I'm going to turn the speed up off and actually purify Komashura and attack that stupid mouse as soon as this purification is done. And no, don't go for the sword, I don't want you to need to specify the target. Now fitting a samurai battling a samurai. <laughs> Let's finish off this mouse. You can't handle our legendary yokai, man. You're just too powerful. <laughs> and the mysterious tribe is uh pretty darn good in the right situations, especially if you have this guy's weakness. Holy crud and Kumasur! Gotta love that guy so much. And once we get him like, you know, closer to, you know, Shogun Yun's level, oh my gosh, he's going to be a beast. And we got a ton of EXP there because we got the Wisp and Wow, that was you know, I was complaining about the fifth levels. Just selection of yokai, but that one was the worst. And oh, hello, lane media. I really don't want to battle you because you're kind of annoying. <laughs> but yes, in this episode, guys, we got another legendary yokai. I cannot recommend this guy enough to you. It's hard for me to say though if he is in fact stronger than QB because, as I said before, it'd take me to you know, level 99 to figure that all out. But honestly, I mean, come on, Komasan's awesome, Komajiro's awesome. Why not get Komashura and get the best of both worlds? Well, not really, since he's more so Komasan, but... 
Whatever. Thank you all so much for watching this episode, though. I know it's been a little bit on the different side, but I really wanted to show off this legendary yokai. And I know you guys wanted to see it, so that's what we did. But in the next episode of Let's Play Yokai Watch, we go to the seventh circle of the Infinite Inferno and take on the final boss again. So see you guys then. Bye.